Shamin and I'm from Science Centre Singapore. You are watching an episode of Science What? Today, I'll be bringing you into Professor Crackett's Light Fantastic. Come on guys, let's go! Did you know Science Centre Singapore's mirror maze is the very first and the biggest one in Southeast Asia? It consists of 95 mirror cells. Can you spot the different mirrors in the mirror maze? Let's try! Now the first one we have is called the plane mirror. When light hits the surface at a certain angle, called the angle of incidence, it bounces off the surface at the same angle, called the angle of reflection. Now what makes a plane mirror a plane mirror? Firstly, the image is virtual. This means that I am unable to produce that image on the screen. Secondly, the distance of the object from the plane mirror is the same as the distance of the image from the plane mirror. Thirdly, it is laterally inverted. This means that your left is your image's right and vice versa. Next, the image is the same size as the object. And lastly, the image produced is upright. Now let's check out another type of mirror. Let's go! Hello! How do you do? Nice to meet you! Oh, oops! Hello! Well, this is the second type of mirror called the concave mirror. Now, concave mirrors have reflecting surfaces that cave inwards and they converge light to one focus point. The image form varies in size depending on where the position of the object is. The image formed can either be real or virtual, upright or inverted, magnified, diminished or the same size of the object. Now some real life uses for concave mirrors include mouth mirrors used by dentists, shaving or makeup mirrors, and headlights for automobiles. Now let's go check out the last type of mirror. The last type of mirror will be the convex mirror. So what are convex mirrors? They are mirrors that reflect light outwards instead. As you can see, the image form on a convex mirror is virtual, upright, smaller in size than the object, and it gets larger as the object gets closer to the mirror. Some real life examples of convex mirrors are rear view mirrors in vehicles, security mirrors, and blind spot mirrors. And that's how you make science come alive. Thank you for watching our video today. If you enjoyed our video, please like and share it with all your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon below to be the first to watch our new videos. Bye!